Okay, for the word problem, this is the graph. We're just going to kind of sketch this in our notes. You don't need to get graph paper for this one. So draw an X and Y axis. The X is going to be seconds. And the Y is going to be yards. In this graph, it doesn't need to be perfect. Um, This point is negative 4, negative 32, and then this point is positive 4, negative 32. And then I'm going to read the word problem to you. Okay, this graph models the depth in yards below the water surface of a dolphin before and after it rises to take a breath and then descends again. The depth D is relative to time T in seconds, where, and T is zero is when the dolphin reaches a depth of zero, zero yards at the surface. Okay, so what that really means is this point right here, so you have to imagine X axis, this is kind of like the surface of the water. So this is when the dolphin comes up for a breath. So this is before it comes up for the, this is four seconds before it comes up, and then this is four seconds after it uh, goes back down. And then it goes down 32 yards and underneath the water. Okay, so the question is saying to describe the vertex. So the vertex is that point where the curve kind of goes both directions, then down from it or up from it. So the vertex is just going to be right there at zero, zero. What's the point when the dolphin goes up for water? Mm -hmm. The y-intercept. So the y-axis, our graph hits the y-axis right here again at 0, 0. The end points. So this graph doesn't have arrows on it because it does end. So the end points. are at negative 4, negative 32, because that's 4 seconds before it goes up for air. It's 32 yards under the water. And then the other end point is positive 4, negative 32, which is 4 seconds after it got air, and it's also 32 feet below the water. Okay, the last thing we have to do is write the equation. And the equation, we did this on Friday how to write the equation from a graph. So we need to pick a point. They give us two points. So you're going to pick a point. Let's just all use 4, negative 32. Label it x and y. And now we're going to plug those numbers into y equals ax squared and we have to figure out what the A stands for. So Y is negative 32. So underneath the Y, put negative 32. The X is positive 4. So put positive 4 underneath your X. And then just bring down your equal sign, the letter A, and the squared. And then I usually draw a line going down from the equal sign. Okay, we're trying to solve for A. So look at the side that has the A. The first thing we need to do is exponents. 4 squared. 4 squared, that's 4 times 4. Okay, now look at the side that has the A. Right now it says a times 16, so to get a by itself, the opposite of multiplying by 16 is to divide by 16. If I divide one side of my equation, I have to divide the other side. That's the division property of equality. 
Negative 32 divided by 16 is negative 2. 16 divided by 16 is 1, so I have 1a, so a is negative 2. And then the last thing I have to do is actually write the equation now. So you can write it as y equals negative 2 x squared, or sometimes it'll be like f of x equals negative 2 x squared, or g of x, or whatever. So you have to take the a and plug it back in. Okay, let's do one more like that. Okay, this graph looks like this. Um, this is your x-axis, this is the y-axis. The x-axis is seconds. The y-axis, it says, is feet. Okay, the graph for this looks like that. It only has like half of the quadratic, half of the parabola. And then it ends at positive 2, negative 64. Okay, this graph... <clears throat> shows the height h and feet of a rock that's dropped down a deep well as a function of time t seconds. Okay, so you're dropping a rock down a well. So at zero seconds, you're holding the rock, and then after two seconds, the rock is 64 feet below the ground, or, uh, you know, it's, it's at the bottom of the well. So from here now, we're going to label what's the vertex, the y-intercept, and the endpoints. So the parabola, it's only showing you half the parabola, because really right here, you're holding on to the rock. But if you imagine the rest of that parabola, it would be like this. So the vertex is right here at 0, 0. And that's when you're holding on to the rock. The y-intercept, so find your y-axis. This graph hits the y-axis also at 0, 0 again. That's when you're holding the rock and you haven't dropped it down the well yet. Then we have our end points. They're at 0, 0. That's when you're holding on to the rock. And then at 2, negative 64. So after 2 seconds, the rock is 64 feet down the well. At 0 seconds, it's 0 feet because you're holding on to the rock or the rock's on the ground, I guess. And then last, we're going to come up with the equation. So we're going to need to use 2, negative 64 as our x and our y. Okay, go ahead and come up with the equation. 2 squared, 2 times 2 is 4. Divide both sides by 4. Negative 64 divided by 4 is negative 16. 4 divided by 4 is 1, so I have 1a. So a is negative 16, and then plug that into the equation. So y equals negative 16x squared, or g of x equals negative 16x squared, or whatever they're asking you to have as your output. Questions there? Okay, today you're going to be working on your exit ticket. Tomorrow you're going to have a formative quiz on this, so make sure you know what you're doing on that exit ticket. Use your notes. Don't put your notes away right now because you're going to need your notes because there's some vocabulary on there.